Welcome to the Farmcast. So today we're going to be talking about the 2020 free agency class um, and just kind of predicting where they're going uh, what or what we want to see too. Because I think there's some interesting names here that like, like Tom Brady is the fucking, uh, he's like the one that sticks out the most. Um, let's just start with him right away then. He's the biggest name on here. Is Tom Brady going to be in a different jersey? Uh, no. I would. Yeah, I, would hope I don't so. think so. I don't think so, but I hope so. I I agree with you guys. It'd where would you, Where would you want to see him go, Becker? Well, there's a lot of talk about him going to Tennessee. From the limited knowledge I have picked up, so him on Tennessee would be wild because he has offensive threats like, you know, Tractor Cito and wide receiver All Star D- or, or Adam Humphreys. <laughs> That's who it is. <laughs> Adam Humphreys, yeah. the goat. I don't, I don't think he's going to go anywhere, but if he were to go to anywhere, it would probably – I could see a world where he goes to, like, the Niners. I think that would be kind of fun to see because it, you could get the direct comparison between what Jimmy Garoppolo is just able to do and uh, old-ass Tom Brady going there would uh, at least be kind of fun. That would be pretty interesting. Um I think he's 100% going to be a Patriot. There's literally no sense for him not to be a Patriot. Um, but if there was someone, some place that I want to see him go, the Raiders. Oh, um, I would love to see him Shout out Jamal. on the Raiders. Yep, shout out Jamal. <laughs> um, the Las Vegas Raiders, that is. I would absolutely love to see him there. See, I don't even um, think, I'm going to be honest, I don't even think he's the most interesting quarterback on the list. Who do you think is? Well, I think there's at least a chance he doesn't resign. I imagine Dak Prescott going somewhere else, a guy who's actually in well, this program. But they can franchise franchise tag him if he doesn't want to sign, right? Yeah. Which, I mean, they would. True, but it, I think he would be the most uh, – I think he would – if let's, if he were to actually hit free agency, he would be the most uh, impactful free agent probably on the whole list because you got you got a lot of QBs you got guys like Tom Brady uh Drew Brees is probably just going to resign but guys who are actually likely to go somewhere else like uh Ryan Tannehill James Winston, Winston yeah Philip yeah. Rivers is Marcus much. Mariota see I don't see I said interesting like, <laughs> I don't see a team picking up Phil Rivers why not oh, wait what would. wait what did yeah. you say I don't know I just I feel like he's just he probably is going to get signed but for yep. some reason, I just think yeah. he's not going to get signed. He will. No, he totally will. What an analysis. Who wouldn't want Philip Rivers? Like, I, I still think he's good. He just good. seemed like he sucked ass last year, so I don't really know. He did. His offensive line hasn't been super great the last two years. Well, that that much I don't know, so. I think Philip still has a little bit, like, a year or two left in the tank. God damn. And I think the, I could see him going to the Colts. The and, Colts? Yep. I think that would be a great fit. See, I think that's actually you, what I'm rooting for. I think if you were to go anywhere, it's probably going to be Tennessee. That's always the big rumor for him. Mm-hmm. So I, I could definitely see that actually happening because I don't think Tannehill would go back. But That's hey, always the big know. rumor for him? Is he from Tennessee? I think so. Oh, is he? I yeah. don't know. I, th- I, I think he has no a idea. host in Tennessee or something. Yeah, it's like that. I, mean, I know there's some, they've been linked some, some connection. While. Yeah. Um, he's the one guy who, like, I'm most interested in, because I've always liked Philip Rivers, and, yeah, I just, I like Philip. I think he's, I think he's fun. Um, I would love to see him, yeah. I would love to see him Colts, but Titans are fine. Um, do you guys think, like, I mean, Titans are the biggest question mark right now, uh, with what they do at QB. I don't know what they, I don't know where they'll go. I I wouldn't go Tannehill. Yeah, I don't know what they would do, honestly. Like, I, don't, I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea just to keep Tannehill. I, he didn't do I think awful. Tannehill is going to get paid, though. I think that dude stinks. <laughs> I still yeah, think, I think he's bad. That's fine. Yeah, but he did great. Well, yeah. no, he didn't do But great. I don't think he did. <laughs> he did, like, the second half of the season, like, of the regular season. Okay, yeah. He yeah. was very good. Sure, but I guess he's I'm a thinking... great supporting cast, and I think any almost any quarterback not named Marcus Mariota would have done just as well in that situation. You yeah, can, like if you you, you threw in I mean, a lot of quarterbacks, I think they do the exact same thing. Like imagine, yeah, I think but we're not Phillip talking Rivers about that. We're talking about we're sick. talking about free agency, right? Somebody saw Ryan Tannehill do that. Somebody's gonna give him a shot and pay him. 
I just don't know if it's going to be a Titans. I don't know what the Titans are going to do. True. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, where I do you agree. think he goes then if it's not Tennessee? I, I, I think it would be funny if he went to Chicago. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, to go from Mitch Trubisky to Ryan Tannehill, I think Jeez. that'd be hilarious. But, no, I don't I think, know. See, I actually think Chicago is going to sign Marcus Mariota as a backup. Really? Okay. I, actually, I was yeah. just going to – I was just going to say, do you guys think Chicago makes a move at uh, the Bears make a move for I QB? think they're going to sign somebody, not necessarily to start, but they're going to sign somebody to uh, to come in, whether it be, uh, you know, like a Marcus Mariota type or, hell, even like a Teddy Bridgewater. Okay. Oh, yeah, Teddy Bridgewater. That's right. Mm-hmm. He's an interesting one. I don't know how – I guess I don't know what to think of him. Oh, he man. did enough to get paid last year too. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. What did he like, go? He, he went five and zero as the starter, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah, won everything. Whether like, that was uh, because of him or in spite of him, sometimes. Because I know, like uh, games like that first game he was in, uh, I think it was they were playing Seattle. I think that was the game Drew Brees actually got injured, and he was dreadful that game. But I know um, after that he had some real up and down games, but the rest of that. Uh, supporting cast that the Saints had was so good it just kind of made up for it okay yeah yeah but he's confident um, I mean somebody could probably pay him somebody probably will I would rather yeah, pay him I, than Tannehill if I were an NFL team give me the guy who's at least younger yeah and they both have had injury history so yeah um I think in my opinion the biggest name that I'm most interested in is Jameis Winston no. Um, what do you guys think? Where uh, he's staying? I, don't see I hope going he anywhere. stays. Because there's I think he should nowhere stay. funnier for him to go. Yeah, I think he should stay. Um, I think another year with Bruce Arians will actually really help him. Well, now um, he can see, and, so that's nice. And his eyes are fixed. Yeah. So, I just I I want to I don't want him to see him on the Bears because I don't want to root against him. Um, so I don't know. That's where I want to see him go. But um, wait, where'd you say you want to see him go? Just back to Tampa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's I wanna, the most likely. It's the coolest, option. and it's a good, it's a good fit. Um, yeah. There's, there's some other. Uh, we kind of cycled through the QB. So you guys think Dak just franchise tag? That I mean, that's what I, that's what Unless I think is going to happen. Come to an agreement, obviously, but I don't know if they're mm-hmm. going to be able to. I just don't think they. I think they're going to be like if they do get an agreement. I think they're just going to be fucked. Like you paid Zeke. You paid Dak, who I don't. Dak's good, yeah, but he's not like. I mean, he's just he's just good. Like, I don't think they're he's they're going to get over any I, previous. I honestly hump. disagree. I do. You, think, what do you mean? I think like, you can you can win. A, I think I think Dak is actually one of the guys you could consider maybe an elite quarterback. I think he's actually. Yeah, I think Dak. Prescott's I really I don't good. think the he hate is. Goes too um, far. I I just don't see how a team against the worst secondary in the league with the Eagles, they put up, what, six, nine points? It was six or nine single digits against a terrible defense like that. You could say it's bad coaching, too. That's fine. Um, And say, you know what, what can he do under McCarthy, who I think was a good hire for them. I think half Um, their issue was that their offensive line was so banged up all year. You had Tyron Smith hurt. You had, uh, I think, Lael Collins was hurt as well. Uh, Travis Frederick was coming back from whatever. I think he had had that condition he had. It's just it wasn't the same offensive line as in years past. And when Zeke wasn't super um, amazing like he normally was, so I think that just put a lot of pressure on him. Plus, even Amari Cooper couldn't stay healthy. Yeah, that's fair, but I just don't see. I didn't see. And I'm no Cowboys apologist either. Like, (laughs) Like, yeah, this team all. I mean, I just think they were a mess last year. Maybe it's not the best year to go off of. Um, But I guess if I'm the Cowboys, just safest move is franchise them, see what happens under Mike McCarthy. Um, And I don't know, move from there. That's just a safe move. Um, he, Dak has he, never he, thrown he, less than twenty-two touchdowns, and he's never thrown more than thirteen picks. I think he's a good quarterback. Yeah, I don't know if that's I, that I, really. I said, I, said like, I don't think he's. I, 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 I don't think he's close to elite. I think he's a he's, good starter. He's not elite. He's just not. You know, he's, um, he's get, a top ten a, quarterback, a right? Quarterbacks, and I want to see. No. like who do you think is he's, better than him? Dak's not a top ten quarterback. I can I name ten is. quarterbacks better than. I mean, he's right. Out, he's in that range. Like, don't get me wrong. You could put him in your top ten, but I think there's ten better quarterbacks than him. 
that I would rather have like going into next season, just next season that I would rather have than Dak. Um, Dak Prescott uh-huh. or Carson Wentz. Carson Dak. Wentz. Oh, why? Dak. I still think I, I still think, think Carson Wentz is good. Um, why? I just think I really think that team. He, he when he's showed. I mean, he's had some. I, I mean, he's had some bad games, but like Dak has too. But with what he's doing, he doesn't have nearly the weapons that uh, Dak has. And they were just. I mean, you can pull the same thing with uh, Carson Wentz and the Eagles. They were hurt. They were really hurt. I would rather have Carson Wentz Dak Prescott uh, going forward or Jared Goff. Oh, that's not Dak. Oh, you're okay. you're you're okay, talking. All right, about. Now I'm, just getting, I'm getting a gauge here. Yep, yep. Dak okay, Prescott yep. or a healthy Ben Roethlisberger. Um, Dak. shit, I don't even know. It's been a while since I've seen Big Ben. I think I lean towards Dak. Um, Dak Prescott. Well, I don't know. Big Ben on my team. Um, that's a really close one, but I'm going. I'm going with Dak over Kirk Cousins. I I don't know how you get ten quarter because I would rather have I would rather have Dak Prescott than Matt Ryan any day of the year. That's not even close. I think I agree. Yeah, Matt Ryan's terrible. Um, yeah. I'd rather have Dak Prescott than Derek Carr. See, I think where we Jimmy where Garoppolo. we would disagree is I would rather have Matthew Stafford than Dak. I would rather have I Matthew mean, Stafford like, has a broken back. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he did, but like I think I, I think I, I guess like fair, but uh, assuming you're getting a healthy Matthew Stafford back, I think I'd take him. Um, yeah, I guess like if I. I can I can list them right now then Aaron Rodgers, uh, Matthew Stafford, Russell Wilson. Um, I would still I, even though I roast him a lot, I would still t- take Tom Brady. Um, no, oh my still, God, what? Um, assuming he's still a Patriot, I guess. Did like you not I just see don't what he know what like last year. He looked like a, sh- a less accurate, less okay. mobile Dak Prescott. Okay, I'll wipe him off there. So I'm at Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford, uh, Russell Wilson. I'm still taking Drew Brees. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take, I don't know about uh, that taking, one either, yeah. I'm uh, taking Carson Wentz. I'm taking um, Kyler Murray. Um, uh, uh, I, oh, not maybe. Uh, not, not yet, though. Um, I'm fine. Going forward, I would rather. I would bet but that Kyler Murray. You were just talking right about now. for next year. Who would you rather have next year? Yeah, this upcoming year. I would rather okay. have Kyler, Kyler Murray, Murray than Dak. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm fine with that. He played great, and I just think he was on a shit team. Um, so that's six. Now I need to look AFC. Uh, I'd have Lamar, Pat Mahomes, um, who else in the AFC am I forgetting? Jimmy that? G? No, not Jimmy yeah. G. Yeah, AFC. I'd rather have Dak than Jimmy G. Um, DeAndre, uh, I mean, um, fucking, Deshaun. what's his name? Deshaun Watson, yep. And uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, maybe he gets that 10 spot. Um, but I'm trying to see who I'm forgetting in AFC. And AFC just has like a couple really good QEs and just fucking mess everywhere else. Um, Fitzpatrick. Who am I That's forgetting? Who you're thinking of? No, no, <laughs> don't go there. Um, and yeah, I can't even think of like. I mean, maybe yeah, maybe it'd be ten, but I'd have nine QBs ahead of him. Yeah, see, I, I, w- I would never have like Josh Allen ahead of him. Or not Josh I, Allen, obviously. No, <laughs> I thought about it, but uh, no, I can't. I thought about Baker it. I'm like Josh Allen's fucking sick. No, I'd rather. I, I, oh man, unfortunately, I'd rather have Dak. I do like Baker though. I still. I. I okay, I'll open it up. Does Baker Mayfield suck? I want to lead towards yes. I. I'm still going with no. I. St- I mean, he could. It, this year's honestly gonna Freddy decide Kitchens what happened, I think. And then it, it's just so hard to tell. F- yep. Freddie Kitchens is literally what happened. I'm going to blame that on a lot of the Browns fuck-ups last year. Um, Yeah, I just, I, I still think they're good. I just, they've got so much talent, and I think Baker has shown that he can be good. Um, Well, man, let's Freddie go back Kitchens to some of, the, some of the upcoming free agents that, yep. you know, could possibly help. Um, You got yep, guys yep. like, uh, see, I don't know, is I don't know if Jadavion Clowney is going to re-sign in Seattle. I haven't seen anything about that yeah. yet. Um, you got guys like, see, what, what I'm really interested in, just kind of go off the, uh, the Dallas topic, is where does Amari Cooper go? Because I do, <sighs> because here's the thing. You yeah, would look Zeke, good in if Green you're Gold. going to pay Dak, how do you also you literally pay can't. Cooper? 
you literally can't. It's they either... also Byron Jones is a free is a free yes, agent this year I, too. I think right? Byron oh. Jones is for sure walking. I don't see him saying. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I still think Amari Cooper is one of the more confusing players in football. Um, He's so where good. He, he is so 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 fucking good. But then he like. He'll disappear he'll, for like two get, games at a time. Yes, or he'll get hurt. If he can stay healthy, you know? that's the big thing. Because yeah. he's basically a Keenan Allen if he, Keenan Allen was fast. They both run yeah. probably the best routes in the NFL. And I don't... Because Amari Cooper can just be unstoppable sometimes. Yeah, I just... I don't know where he goes. Um, I just... I, I, I have no idea. He's the big. He's one of them where it's like... You could tell me any team. I'd be like, yeah, I could see that. Um, you look good in green and gold. I'll tell you oh. that. <laughs> what are um, my feelings? No, that would be that would be fucking sick. What do you think happens with AJ Green? I was just gonna say. Well, um, we're on top of your receivers. Also, would look good in green and gold. <laughs> okay, I John. would. Yeah. I have a bad oh, feeling I, I he's actually, gonna end up in New England. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, See, he's another guy too. It's like if you want to talk about health. Well, well, right. That that's the biggest issue with him. And I mean, he's, he is getting a little old. I think he's thirty-one, right? Uh, same age. I believe. Oh, yeah, I thought he was the same age as Julio. But damn, I feel old. I feel like AJ Green was like just a rookie, right? <laughs> like, well, it's because he really misses so good, so many goddamn games. That that's oh, man true. when he plays. Yeah, when, <laughs> when he, he plays. plays. But like, didn't he? Wasn't he healthy sometime around the end of last year? He just didn't want to play because it's the Bengals. That's what I thought. Wow, that was a thing. I mean, yeah. I th- yeah, I thought that was like a real thing. Um, I think that was yeah. a rumor that came out, but it's just so goddamn believable. Because why would why would you come back and risk re injury? Like, I what are you gonna think do? That's yeah, what happened. Yeah, if there is like someone who I'd be as a Packer fan who I would like, I think like could and I would really like. It's obviously AJ Green. Um, I don't know what the percentage or likelihood of that is, but if there is someone on here, I would take. I, I don't even think he's going to get paid at all. Like, I think it's going to be a really small uh, contract. I don't. Like, I think somebody will fall in love. I, it, it's possible. I could see it. Um, if you want to talk would, specifically Packers, I mean, there's yeah. other receivers that I'd be more interested in us signing. I would rather just go free somebody agency? a little bit cheaper. Yeah, and free agency. I mean, like Robbie Anderson? Uh, or maybe. even I, I, I honestly, well, I wanted him in the middle of the season, but I would even go with a guy like Emmanuel Sanders. Because I still yep. think he's got it. He didn't really show any signs of slowing down. He came off an Achilles injury. Mm-hmm. Still looked as good as he did. And, I mean, I think at, just at the end he was overshadowed by the fact they ran the ball like crazy. And they also had... Uh, George you know, Kittle. George Kittle and Debo Samuel, the best running back in the world. See, I think he's just going to re-sign for, like, cheap. I, I think... I, I, I mean, I don't have any, like, reason. I just Maybe. think he's going to stay a 49er. Um, but yeah, other than, are there any other, I'm kind of scrolling down this list here. I don't oh, see any other. Oh, do like, we want to get down, do we want to get down to the green and gold? Is that what we're doing here? Whatever you want. What do you guys, yeah, yeah. do you want the Packers to re-sign Blake Martinez? I don't think it will be a lot I of care. money. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I, I just I, don't think it's, it's more of a question of like Brian Balaga. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. And that's I think we let him walk. One. I let. I think we let someone I think else we pay have him. To, and that's the shittiest yeah. thing because Brian Bulaga, when he is healthy, is still a top ten tackle in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. No. So I. I think we let him walk. Um, but you know, I'm not. I'm not sure what we'll do if we'll even make a lot of noise. We made a ton of noise last year, but I just don't think we'll make like. I don't see us making any like huge moves at all. See, I do. I think. I think really. Be, yeah, because of the way we built the team last year. We are just officially in that win now mode, and to just mm-hmm. not do it this year would it would be I, I don't want to. What was stuck the point of no last man. year then? Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be stuck in a no man's land. So I think either you're all in on the last few years of Aaron Rodgers, or you're not. So oh yeah, I mean support yeah. the guys that you did end up paying for, and go okay. get some of these other guys. I mean, so what? Uh, who do you think then? Like, if we're making a big slash, or what position? Do you think we go down the rabbit hole no, that we've been no, doing a couple of years no, 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 with no, a no. tight end? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh-huh. there's some, please, there's some please big God, name, no. Uh, there's some big not. name tight ends, um, free agents like uh, Austin, Austin Hooper, Hooper, Hunter Henry. 
No, um, please. Hunter Henry is going to go back, and Denver. Austin Hooper, I don't care what anybody, that dude stinks. And then Eric oh. Ebron's one. I could honestly oh. just get, like, oh. Eric Ebron. Ooh, Ebron. I could see I it. Already I could see I kind of like Eric next, Ebron. Do you like his, like, 18 drops in every single yeah. year? He I, is uh, I don't pay games. attention. I don't well, pay attention to that. Well, you should, because that dude stinks. I remember he had that big breakout uh, two years ago uh, where he just, he just went, went on, on like a so. tear for five weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be- Becker, isn't he your boy? Oh, he's my boy. That's a <laughs> big, t- big tight end boy over here. I like to run the two tight yeah. end system in fantasy. It usually gets me like to second place. So Oh, pretty good. Yeah. No, that doesn't usually. The fact you had Christian McCaffrey and Todd Gurley, and they're both their best <laughs> seasons, that is what has gotten you. Let's not confuse this. <laughs> no, I just picked the no. best players. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, no. My brother <laughs> no. just picks the best players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I handed right. him my phone. <laughs> no, I, um, I would, if, if the Packers are going to do anything, the first thing I do want to see is probably get some kind of interior defensive lineman. Uh, you got guys like Leonard Williams that are free agents. Uh, What's his name? Uh, DJ Raider? He's sure. a free agent, isn't he? DJ Raider, yep. Yeah. He's a free agent. Javon Hargrave is a free agent. There's There are guys that can make it. We just need, I think Kenny Clark just needs a, a tandem buddy that can oh. just eat blocks together. Yeah. It, it wouldn't happen, up. but could you could you imagine uh, Chris Jones? Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That... Yeah, he, he's, gonna, he's gonna go. I, he's gonna go back to Kansas City. Oh, no I don't doubt. think there's any chance yeah, he's going anywhere yeah. else. That's a guy I could see getting franchised too. I mean, he's extremely good, but he's only like 25 or 26. Yeah, he's, he's young, young too. Um, either that, I could see the Packers getting. Um, I could see us getting a new nickel corner because Tremont Williams is obviously getting up there in yeah. age. Um, you can draft one. Um, but I'd rather, I'd personally rather the Packers go and get signed somebody. I don't think it'll happen, but you do have guys who are specializing in that uh, inside slot corner. You do have, like, Chris Harris is a free agent this year. Um, Bradley Roby's a free agent this year, but I could definitely see a world where those guys just end up getting paid. Yeah. Do you think uh, then, because obviously uh, a need on offense is just wide receiver, do we draft or do we free agency someone like, of, I guess someone cheaper like I, I Robbie Anderson is just someone who I, I saw no, on here. I, I, feel, I feel like the, the draft is so deep. We don't need to get into the draft, but I feel like the draft yeah. is so deep at receiver we could take one like at the end of the first round or even in the second round a guy that yeah. can come in and actually like start or not start could, but like you could maybe take a guy in the fourth, fifth round this year and he could start for you. I think uh, that uh, there's a lot of dudes. That's cool. I don't know a whole lot about this class, and we'll have a different episode for that, but that is cool, I think, because I just want another fucking, I'm sick of seeing MVS and yes, Geronimo. That's, that's the issue I have with, like, and I know we don't want to get into it, but taking a guy in the fourth or fifth round, I just don't want to end up with another one of those guys. No, And then it being I, like, well, another another season of, well, if we would uh, if we would get some help for Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is you don't have a guy there to rely on him for this year, but what I think you could do is you could maybe get a, some kind of veteran, and then you can get a guy you can really develop there. Because there are just a lot more of those guys that could possibly take that uh, big leap this year that you can get late. Mm-hmm. But... Oh. Personally, if I mean what I want to see, and I've I made this uh, very clear that uh, if if the Packers do do anything at receiver this year, I do I don't want it to be in free agency. I would just rather trade for Odell Beckham because that would be the best use of the number thirty pick that I can think of. Yes. Yeah. Big time. I agree. I'm all for that. Facebook Packer fans are not. No. Uh, boomers hate him, but uh, yep. He likes to them, dance. Yes. Yeah. He's too much yeah. of a diva. He yeah. has a big mouth. But, he talks uh, too much. I hate boomers, and I especially hate their football opinions. So I, I yep. almost want to see Odell Beckham in, the, in green and gold just to spite old yeah. people. I would love that, too, <laughs> because, because a child. he would ball <laughs> also. He would, him and Devontae would fucking ball. And then Packer, Boomer Packer fans would be like, oh shit, I have to like Odell now. Oh, they'd come around real quick. As as I think they would, yep. Touchdown. Because I think the, hypocr- the hypocrisy is only when he's on the other team. If he's doing that yep. for your team, oh boy, oh boy, it's got to be the best. I would, I, oh my god, I would love that. See, Odell in a Packers jersey is just, oh, that would be fucking sick. Um, 
Yeah. To kind of move on, though. Um, yeah. One interesting thing about this free agency class that I'm really looking forward to seeing, because you've got a couple running backs that I was just, could yeah. really get paid, because you got Derrick Henry, you got Melvin Gordon in this free agency, and I am really fascinated to see what happens with those guys, especially with Derrick Henry. Obviously, coming off the rushing title, coming off of what he did in the playoffs. I don't know what's going to happen with him. and I, Some team's going to pay him. Would you guys pay him? I wouldn't. If I, I would. had my own NFL team, I wouldn't because you don't pay a running back. Sure. But if I'm the Titans, I do it. Um, He got you. He got you to the AFC Championship That's... game. Was it him or was it partial? I mean, it was a lot. How much was that him. offensive line? I mean, True. And, like, I, I, we shared the take for the longest time that Derrick Henry isn't good. Um, and I, I'm not, I, I'm still not, like, I don't think he's going to win the rushing title again next year. Uh-huh. But if I'm the Titans, I think you just, you're in a weird spot where you kind of just have to. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of like, I, I, if I, if it was me, I, I wouldn't pay a running back. Um, but if I'm the Titans, I would. I don't know. That sounds contradicting, but. That's kind of how Fair. I feel. No, I, I think I think I I I really do think De- Derrick Henry is like legit, like a top, you know, three top five running back in the NFL, especially after what he did this last year. Mm-hmm. Um, but just a guy who's that big and that fast, and actually like is shifty between the tackles and stuff like that. You you have to have two guys on him to bring him down. He is in open space. He's maybe the fastest person on the field. I don't know. I think he's fucking legit, man. I'd I'd pay him. Okay, fair, fair. I don't know, but that's that thing where it's weird because you can't really you can't necessarily afford to pay a running back. But if you're if you're kind of locked up everywhere else, which where not a lot of teams are, but if you if you feel comfortable with every other every other spot and you got money to spend, why not? You know. Because I think okay. the, the why not is that there are just a lot of running backs that, I mean, look how many of those guys come out of the fourth, fifth, sixth rounds that do end up being that good and do end up being that good relatively quickly. Plus, there are actually a lot of interesting running backs in this year's free agency because it's not just Derrick Henry. It's not just Melvin Gordon. You got Carlos Hyde, who, sure, he's old, but he's still coming off a 1,000-yard season. Kenyon Drake, um, a real interesting running back because, okay, look, think about it this way. Would you rather pay um, Derrick Henry, let's say, I don't know, 12, 13 million a year, or would you rather go f- sign for two years uh, Gus Edwards? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, but for real, like, I, I don't know how much of a difference that ends up being. Because it's not like Derrick I, Henry is catching passes. They're both two down guys. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think that ends up being a huge, huge difference. And that money. You you think you so you think the Titans would have made it to the AFC Championship with Gus Bus back there? I don't know if they make it that far, but I also don't know. You're not paying for what you're not paying them for what they did in the past. You're paying them for what they're going to do in the All future. Right, Der- Derrick Henry's what twenty five? Yeah, I don't and think and he's going to slow and down. How many carries has that guy gotten? And you know when running backs uh, hit the when they hit the cliff, yeah. they hit it hard. Yeah. I don't know how much of a how much longer that guy's going to last where you want to pay him. Yeah, I don't know. It's in, it's interesting what they're gonna do. I think they just bite the bullet and they get a deal done, um, because someone's going to, someone just will, and I just Probably I think the Titans. The Titans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, but um, you kind of you said their name. Uh, the other two running backs who I'm really interested in. What do you guys think of Kenyon Drake and Melvin Gordon? Well, Fenner, take it away. Yes. Uh, Kenyon Drake is a turd, and nobody oh. should. He should never be on an NFL roster. He's uh, not bad. <laughs> Objectively incorrect. <laughs> Alpha. The reason, the reason I had an issue with him was because I had him on my fantasy team last year, and he sucked. <laughs> he sucked. He was bad. He was playing for the Dolphins, but he was but bad. There, he did not produce right for there. me. <laughs> he did not produce for me. No, he most certainly did not. But. But he did. He did uh, all right. Produce... He did all right in Arizona this year, which yeah. is fine. Wild. I mean, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and actually, that that brings me up, brings up another thing. Um, a guy who's a cut candidate is David Johnson, and that is wild to me. It, it but makes, I get it. Yeah, it's I get been it. Just a couple of years since he signed that big deal, 
Yeah. And I don't know if they will end up signing him because, they, or if they end up cutting him because I know if they do cut him, there's going to be a lot of dead money. But, mm-hmm. oh, but it still might be worth it just to get out from underneath that thing. Yeah. And I don't think any team's going to trade for that contract, especially with how he looked in the last few weeks of the year. But do you think he's going to be the same guy going forward, or do you think what we saw at the end of that year of last year, him being a little more injured, him being a little more beaten up, what do you think is going to be um, the, the real future. David Johnson going forward? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Fuck, it sucks. I loved David Johnson, and it's just unfortunate where he's like got a now with getting beat up. Oh, I, the optimistic me says, well, hopefully maybe he can have a turnaround year. The pessimistic, realistic side of me says, no, he won't. Um, I think what we saw at the end of last season is the the current and future David Johnson. Unfortunately. Yeah. I don't feel good saying that. The dude's had injuries, and obviously last year was clearly no exception. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I think the truth is probably somewhere in the middle, but that guy has had a huge workload since he came in, in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. I would like – I don't know. I don't even know. I haven't even thought of that. Um, <laughs> I haven't even considered the option of him being cut. Um, but I, I get it. Like, it, it's something they should be considering. Well, another guy who's a running back who's going to be a free agent. Honestly, he might actually be the most interesting one is uh, – would you rather pay a guy like Derrick Henry or would you rather pay Kareem Hunt? He had well, that year off, and honestly, that was probably the best thing for him because he was shit. getting a big workload in those couple Wait, of years. Kareem Hunt is a free agent? Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh. <laughs> this just Oh, him. wow. I had no idea he was a oh, free yeah. agent. Shit. Wow. I don't even, I don't even know what to think of that. That's – I didn't – it's weird. This is why I don't. This is why you don't pay. I don't think any running back is going to get paid except for David uh, Derrick Henry. Um, Cause like, look at this already. Like, the, well, he the is running a backs here, you can sell the agent, but the expectation okay. is that he does get cut. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Wow. Um. Yeah, I just I think this really sucks for Melvin Gordon. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Like essentially, like now that like I'm here seeing these running backs and shit, um, Melvin Gordon sat out to get paid. Well, I think a, he's a guy who's, get I mean, less Austin now. Eckler is a restricted free agent, but I don't see any world he doesn't get no. brought back. Oh yeah, no, I think they're gonna bring him back. I think he's gonna be. I just I don't know where Melvin Gordon goes. Um, yeah, I have no idea, and he won't get paid. I, I, I don't know. I don't have a. Strong take on that one. Fenner? No. Um, no, I don't either. Becker? I really don't. I, I, I don't think Melvin Gordon is super team, great. I'm trying to think of a team either of those guys could go to because teams that really do need running backs, and there's not that many. I guess maybe the Buccaneers are come up as one that could use yeah. a running back. And They have Kenyon Drake written all over them. I think I he don't... stays in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. I could see it. Regardless what about of um, what happens to David Johnson? I actually. Do what about uh, what's his name? Chase Daniel. Um, oh, no, not oh. Chase Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What's uh, Chase Edmonds? Uh, isn't I he? Don't think is, he's I, a free agent. Yeah, he's still gonna. I mean, he did good when he was playing. Yeah, he was actually. <laughs> like I don't. I don't know. They have a lot of running backs. They. Yeah. Who the hell? Maybe knows? David Johnson is the one who gets cut. He might be, and that's what because I don't think any team's training for that contract. Yeah, Matt shit. Breida is a restricted free agent. Actually, what about yeah, um, Gus Edwards is a res- uh, exclusive restricted free agent, so he's okay. he, he'll probably come All right, right back. I'm gonna cut in here, teach Becker things, explain restricted <laughs> free agent. <laughs> this I is thought, a, no, this I is thought, a good opportunity. I thought Becker was about to too. come in and say, "All right, guys, I'm gonna head out." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see you guys. Um, essentially, an unrestricted free agent versus a restricted free agent. A restricted free agent. Uh, the whatever team he's restricted to or he's coming from in free agency, that team has the exclusive uh, rights to match whatever offer is uh, given to them by another team. Okay. And so then that player have would the have hand. to accept it, right? Yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah. which leads to, you know, some, you can almost have some gamesmanship. Like, for example, uh, the Packers, I believe it was last offseason, 
signed a restricted free agent in Kyle Fuller, who was on the Bears, to uh to a tent to an offer on it like a tender sheet, and they offered him I think more than what his market was expected to be, mm-hmm. and it forced the Bears to either pay him more money than they wanted to, or you know the Packers would have had him like they do now, and mm-hmm. you know they ended up. They obviously ended up matching, but it's that kind of thing. So it creates some some more interesting scenarios, I guess. That was awesome too when the Packers did that. Oh yeah, that was fucking sick. I, I didn't even I didn't even realize that happened. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the Goot did his thing. Oh yeah, that was one of his first moves, I think. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have any uh, other free agency takes? Um, I think we nope. can save the rest for later because obviously it's a long off season, yeah. especially when uh, when more cuts happen. That's mm-hmm. that's going to be the interesting things because this is the free agent list as of right now. The actual free agent list might look a lot different with guys that end up being uh, cut later on from around March even through June. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. You guys pretty much took all the thoughts I had nah, cooking up just... here, so I didn't couldn't really give my input because you guys pretty much nailed it on the head. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, We're you know. Too fast. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Becker actually gave us all of his notes for yeah, this episode. Yeah, I just wrote them down. Guys, you we guys still yeah. made them. I just kind of observing the conversation, see if it get off the rails quick. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just wanted to supervise, make sure we weren't saying some whack shit. Yeah. But yeah, that's what we have for this free agency right now. But it will get a little more chaotic and we'll have more of a clear picture. And that's why you should follow the Farmcast on Spotify the and Apple. And uh, we'll be we'll be talking some more free agency and the draft as uh, this offseason continues. So we'll have some more NFL content coming up. Uh, so yeah, make sure to follow us on all of those. Also follow us. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Farmcast Pod. We have some good content on social media, so make sure to go follow there. And also on Apple, if you could leave us a five star review, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, we enjoy that. So uh, we'll see you. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again. Bye.